The only man I feared in the half mile was my rival from the West Indies, George Kerr. I had drawn the outside lane, as I did in 1960 for the Olympic Games. I started fast to make sure that I'd keep George covered because it was rumoured that he would be setting a very fast first lap pace. I looked around and couldn't see him, and so I settled in third position, hoping that the leaders would run through a fairly fast lap so that George would find it hard to use his superior speed at the finish. I was lucky that they managed to do 54 seconds, and as we came to the 300 yard mark, I set sail, hoping to blunt as much of George's speed as possible. I knew that he would be able to go with us to the straight, but then hoped that my strength would outlast him from there. really hard round the last curve and I looked over my left shoulder to see the effect he wasn't there and I looked over my right and noticed he was right on my shoulder it was going to be a battle of strength up the straight he couldn't go past and I knew then that I'd have him over the last 50 yards Snell just made it and what was to be the most exciting finish of the games had won his first Empire Games gold medal I received a considerable amount of criticism in this race for my slow time. In a championship, the prime object is to win. And it would have been foolish to have tried for a fast time with the conditions of heat and strong wind down the back straight. There's no pace setter in a race of this nature, no teamwork, every man is out for himself. And although Davies and I finished first and second, we're both running our own individual race. John and I were very pleased to gain first and second for New Zealand.